Oh my goodness, it looks so freaking sick right there. Just squat down. What is up guys? Welcome back to the channel. So today we are here at the Goon Squad Garage and we're gonna continue working on the Corvette C8. As you guys seen in the previous video, we basically knocked out all of our body work. We already picked up our paint and we're getting super close to getting some parts in the paint booth and throwing down some of this beautiful rapid blue right here. And basically what we got on our hands is a bunch of wet sanding. We got to tear apart these doors as well and tear apart a few other things here and there. Maybe we'll run into a little bit more body work, but it's very minor. Also, you guys seen where we knocked out some major body work using some good old ramen noodles. This stuff works pretty good, but we still have yet to master it. So I guess as of right now, we're just gonna eat it. And uh, we did open up all of them and we don't want these suckers to go to waste. So we're gonna go ahead and throw them in a big old crock pot. And we're gonna have some breakfast. That way it can power us through the day and get us finished, get us closer to getting this sucker finished up right here. This right here is that straight up protein right there. So we're gonna go ahead, cook up all these ramen noodles, eat up and get straight to work. Dad can eat. Dad can eat anything super hot. <laughs> nice. <laughs> but he's blowing that, around the I noodles while he's eating. Some sauce. Then sauce. Thank you, ramen noodles, for sponsoring today's video, guys. We get unlimited ramen noodles for life. I'll feed everybody. Dude, this right here literally will last us a whole entire week, dude. Dude, we're gonna keep it on a simmer for as long as possible. Probably like a month. D doesn't matter. I mean, we're gonna have food. We don't have to buy lunch no more, dude. Ramen noodle buffet, dude. That's pretty Imagine. much what it is. I'll leave this right here. Whoever wants, just come get you a scoop. Dude, this is awesome right here. We went with the beef and the chicken. We mixed the two together. Uh, some did the dang sauce in theirs. David went with the dang bacon. How is it? Dang good right here. Dang dude. gas, ain't it, right there? Oh, yeah. what, what'd you do? You just went plain, right? The good old plain mixeroo, man. That's all you need right here, man. Pops went with the dang sauce. How is it, Pops? Almost done. Dang. See what that? There's mine right here. I'm gonna probably go with the dang bacon seasoning and the dang sauce right there. Are you mm. tasting any any little bit of like bondo dust or no. anything? No. Nothing? You guys tasting bondo dust here? There's a little bit of a little bit of Corvette in here, man. What? Get you going, man. Dude, that's what I'm talking <laughs> about right there, dude. You might start sounding cammed out here in a little bit. <laughs> All right, guys, that's enough fooling around ramen noodles. It's time to get to business here, and what do you want to do first? Dude, tear these doors apart and uh, sand them down. Hopefully get some parts in the paint booth. Mama. Thank you. 
guys. So mom done came out here once again, but this time with something even more epic, a whole entire five gallon bucket of some Zupa Tuscana. I mean, look at that. That's more than Olive Garden gives you right there. That's never ending right there, dude. Dude, this stuff is amazing, Dude, man. this is fire. I know we thought the ramen was good. This is a whole nother level right here. You got the bacon bits in there. You got the Parmesan. You got the spinach, right? Spinach or no, kale. Kale. Kale, kale right there, dude. Spinach is for Popeye. We're Kale is for Goon Squad boys yeah. right there. <laughs> but we're gonna eat right quick and we're gonna kick it into gear and keep on moving with the Corvette C8. We're making some major progress. Uh, but before we go, let's ask mom what's what's on the menu for tomorrow, mom. I don't know, it's a secret. What about some cabbage wraps? <laughs> Maybe. Those are fire. Anything that mom's bring, mom brings is gonna be fire. So I guess you guys will have to stay tuned. Maybe one day you guys can come out and taste mom's cooking out here, dude. Whoever the next winner is. Let's start a restaurant. Dude, honestly, Goon Squad restaurant. Mama shop. Goon Squad Cafe. <laughs> This is gonna look sick. The Z06 style front bumper, Heck man. Heck yeah, we just mocked it up for the very first time and it lines up pretty dang good, but we're kind of deciding if we should paint it or not, right? I mean, we just got so much parts that we're about to paint, so we'll see. If we have some room, we'll throw this in there and spray it in, but we just wanted to see how well it fits. It's a plastic bumper, no fiberglass. It's a little bent, but you know what? That's just the type of stuff you run into on aftermarket bumpers. But dude, this is gonna look sick. It has the aero package too, so it's gonna have these nice canards, the nice the lip, lip the dude. everything, man. The grills are much bigger. It's gonna have better airflow in it. I think it's gonna look really good, man. Yes, sir. I guess we'll decide here in a little bit, but as for like some other parts, we're not really gonna paint this hood, are we? No, because I mean, I think we can save it and buff it as you can tell it just kind of got dual from that tape flapping around during delivery but i think we'll save that because the paint that we got is pretty much a perfect match we did a little drop test right here and it's dry and look at that man you can't even tell the difference man. dang i can hardly even see that drop right there that's that's perfect right there that's gonna speed things up while we're painting dude. dude it's gonna be awesome i mean we're almost ready to go into the paint booth i just finished this fender up we're just gonna wet sand this pretty much got everything else wet sanded over there door bumper and everything else so i say we just finish this up drop it into the paint booth and finally put some color down
that's just our cruises pretty much every day so we wrapped it up back at the shop guys and um i just had to record some of this stuff because elzar's cruising in the porsche and that thing was spitting flames i really didn't even know that the thing spit flames and i'm driving something pretty epic as well man it's just such a blessing oh i wasn't supposed to show you guys that either but it's all good you guys will see it here soon but Man, we're just so blessed, honestly. Just had to share this with you guys. That thing's spitting flames, and I'm cruising in a Raptor R. I'll just go ahead and say it. But you know what? We'll reveal this a little bit later. We'll catch you guys in the morning. All right, guys, so it is the next day, and it is finally time to spray some color down. We've got everything in the paint booth. We even had enough room for that front bumper right there, and might as well just go ahead and spray everything in. Everything's waxed and greased, looking really good. I'm probably gonna throw some sealer on all the black parts, that way it matches really well to the blue, and the blue lays out a little bit better, because I think the factory uses some great sealer, but that's pretty much it, man. This is all about to be one color. The only part that we're missing is the other rocker panel. I mean, this is pretty much all the parts, dude. Dude, this is gonna be crazy once it's all painted and we start test fitting stuff. Oh yeah. Dude, this car is about to look insane, especially with some Z06 stuff. We got a lot more Z06 stuff coming. I think we're gonna do a rear diffuser. We're even thinking about doing the rear center exit, dude. dude I think that's just, that's what they should have came out. Z06 or just a regular Stingray, they should have kept that center exit like they did on the C7. So we're definitely probably gonna do that. It's gonna look sick. We'll dude. see, we, we're actually gonna change it up quite a bit. We. We got some crazy stuff coming. Let's just we say that. We got some that, epic dude. stuff. Yes, for sure. But as of right now, let's go ahead and jump in our paint suits and start spraying. It is powerful up in here, man. I think the, the curing lights are really like like making some off gas or whatever oh, you call it, dude. Not good to smell this oh stuff. Oh my here. goodness, dude. But it turned out perfect, didn't it, dude? Oh yeah, it turned out great. Uh, there was a little issue. We got fast uh, reducer for the clear coat, so it was like dry and really weird like during painting. So I painted as fast as I can, but I think it turned out great, dude. Dude, that stuff is gonna look so good once we pull it out in the sun. We're gonna let it bake. Those heaters are gonna get super hot in here. Oh, in yeah. there, dude. Super hot. We even blocked this off because whenever whenever I was painting, that sun was beaming in there and could not see nothing, dude. Dude, I can't wait. Can't wait for that stuff to be fully dried, which would it'll probably be in what, like maybe Two, three hours. hours? Yeah, a couple hours, it'll be dry, dude. But anyways, um, let's see what we got in the parking lot today here. So what is David this? pulled up in the 370Z that we sold him a while ago. And um, I don't think he really changed much on it, did he? He just added some decals. He added some new hardware on the wide body. Um, installed the wing. Oh, the wing. You know? The wing is sick, dude. Look at this thing, man. That wing is sick. But you did mention that you wanted to change the color or something. Dude, that'd be epic. That'd be epic. But, you know. <laughs> the blackest black ever? Blackest black would be insane. <laughs> blackest be insane. black in the world. That would look pretty insane. So we might help him out in the future on that if we make some time. I think that'd be pretty cool, but this car is sick, but I just can't like forget about that Porsche, what it did last night. Dude, again, that's dude. insane, man. I didn't even know that thing could do that. You know, I heard like a little bit of like popping whenever we're cruising down the road, uh, like uh, from time to time, but I never thought it would actually shoot fireballs, but 
Hey man, that thing spits like it ain't nothing, this dude. This thing spits flames. Does that 370Z spit flames yet? Not yet. We put some test pipes on it, but it ain't nothing like that. We'll tune it. We'll tune it up. But yeah, dude, this is crazy, dude. I think um, it's in a certain mode, right? It's the sport regular mode, not the sport plus. When you turn it into sport plus, it doesn't want to shoot flames, No, it, it uses that fuel up. Sport mode, man, you let go, man, that thing just rattles and pops. It sounds so good. Oh, I wish this thing had a rolling anti-lag on there, you know, oh, like... God. Dude, it, it almost sounded like it last night. Literally, it was like it had that sound, which was insane. Oh, yeah. Also, the drifting, we figured out how to how to pretty much put it into drift mode. And this thing whips. Hey, it dude. slides, man. It slides super easy. It's super controllable. Dude, Porsche, Porsche is where it's at, man. Heck yeah, I love this car. But anyways, uh, we're going to let the parts dry for a little bit, have some lunch, and um, then we'll see where we go from here. Let's do it. Alrighty guys, check out this completed Z06 conversion front bumper. Thing is sick, dude. dude. This is gonna definitely give that car a good facelift. I mean, look how aggressive that wow. looks. The lip looks super good. It's just overall just the, gonna be the perfect touch. Yes, sir. I mean, compared to that bumper, look at that right there. I mean, it looks decent right there, but this is definitely a lot more aggressive. It's got the, the canards, the lip, the bigger vents, the bigger and stuff vents. like that. It's gonna cool the car down, you know, and it's gonna look amazing. I cannot wait to throw that on. Yes, dude. sir. What do you think of the colors? The color is that might just be dull. Is it off a little? I mean, it kind of looks, I mean, it is brand new paint, but I mean, it looks almost perfect when you kind of put it up to it, but this is super dull, dirty, but who knows? It's all going to come down to yeah. throwing it on the car. It's all know? about that angle too. Yeah. This color is beautiful. I absolutely love how that paint was going down though, too. Dude. When you were spraying it, dude, it covered amazing. Oh yeah. Dude. That's that nice thick paint right there. I mean, that's pretty much it. I mean, once the... I think we can, like, once that stuff dries 100%, we can throw together that front end with this bumper. It's going to look insane, dude. out guys so we finally tossed on this z06 bumper onto this c8 right here and oh my goodness it looks so freaking sick right there just squat down that just looks so clean the color match is pretty dang good as well definitely got to buff a few things but for the most part that definitely transformed that front end right there there is a few things that we might want to change about this bumper and we kind of noticed a few things here and there we'll probably talk about in the next video um also definitely probably want to paint this stuff high gloss black maybe or even get that on carbon fiber that'd be sick right there but we'll see all these other parts are inside over here as well um kind of just took them out of the paint booth because there is a few other things that we need to paint for this c8 right here so we're just preparing and also in the next video we're gonna go ahead and start tearing apart that motor a little bit and prepare for a cam guys this build is about to be absolutely insane but thank you guys so much for all the love and support definitely drop all your comments and thoughts down below we'll catch you guys next time peace